here and I'm going to be talking about something else related to one of these. This right here is a CDB 700 and basically it's a radiation, a low level radiation detector. Well, I did the video on that and it was, uh, let's put it this way, I received a lot of feedback and a lot of people asking for more information and things like that. I did the video based on you know, thinking that a lot of people are, are, are going to see what's going on in Japan and think, well, well, time to go ahead and look on eBay and stuff like that for radiation detecting gear. And I wanted to make sure that they didn't buy one of the high-level radiation detectors, which is the survey meters, and, you know, and mistakenly think that they're safe. And that's just not the case. With the high level, if it goes off, you're pretty much cooked anyway. Um, so you, <laughs> you didn't want that. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that people were getting the right gear rather than looking at the wrong gear. Save you some money and you know, a little peace of mind. Well, based on the feedback that I had, I'm going to go ahead and do this video. And this is on this one right here, which is the CDV750, which is a charger. And charger is for the, the scimitar, and that's people, uh, I've heard people call these uh, dosimeters, dosimeters, um, a whole bunch of different things. It depends on where you're from and who your you know, NBC, NCO was and everything else. So I'm not really too concerned about how you pronounce this, just as long as you know what it is. This right here looks like a pen and it's a very simple device. You take this, the CDV750, this is a charger for one of these. You cannot buy one of these without having one of these. They just don't work. What you need to do is in the morning, you would take this, you unscrew that, depending on the type you have, there's a couple of different models. And you take the end, and the end gets pressed on here. This looks like a tire valve. And basically, it, this is the charger. This is a positive charging end, and it also, when you press down, it also has a little light in there. And that illuminates the meter on the inside. And the meter on the inside and it goes to, you know, 1 to 200. And what you're using this for is give it a positive charge. You give this a positive charge and you use this knob to adjust it to zero. As the energy or as the positive charge bleeds off on this after young days, well what will happen is the needle will start rising. So what you need to do is in the morning you would normally take this and charge it, make sure it's got a full charge, and then you would carry it during the day. And you carry it in the, during the day in your pocket. Now, basically what we like to do is we like to carry two. You know, so you had two of them in your pocket. So the people that you know, indicated that they were, were to be using them. And this way you had a backup. This way you, know, you can go ahead and check one. If, if one read that you were in a radioactive environment, you can go ahead and use a second one to check it as well. So you checked it with one, if it read a positive, then you checked it with the other one. And if it also read a positive, then it's you know, added confirmation. It's not a, an error or something like that. You're not, didn't somehow bleed off some of the positive charge on here. So these are really simple to use. Like I said, you just take one of these, the chargers, and you unscrew it in the front here. You put a D cell battery in there. You just screw it back tight and then you, know, you plug it on this end, you press really hard and you use this dial right here to, to get it to zero and it's not easy. It's not just, you know, turn it and it goes zero and then you're done. It's typically you turn it to zero then let up on it lightly so it's still got the light on and then it, you watch where the needle is. And typically the needle will be in the positive still. So you back it off a little, you know, you press down hard, you back it off a little bit more and you keep on doing that until it reads zero. And that's basically all you have to do to use one of these. Like I said, you use it, you know, you charge this, you use the charger in the morning, and then at night, uh, you go ahead, and several times during the day, you're actually checking them. And then at, at, in the morning again, you go ahead and you do another charge. So um, when I bought my, my radiation detecting gear, what I did is, you know, originally I had bought one, and I cannot remember which one I have, it might be a 720 or something like that. I cannot remember. But it's, a, it's one of the high radiation ones, survey meters. And so when it wasn't the right one, I was like, oh, crap. 
and I bought the wrong one. So I wanted to make sure that people out there was, wasn't buying the wrong one. And when I started looking around, and I did find the right one, the 700, I found that it was more expensive to buy this like this than it was to buy the full kit, the CDB777. The CDB777 is a case and it contains um, two survey meters and the 700 plus uh, some bags and things like that and all of them and the charger. All you had to do is basically add batteries and as you can see you know, right there looks like brand new these have basically never really been used. Uh, a few of them have been used in training, like, like this one right here has been used in training. That's about it. So, you know, the, well, these right here all have a calibration date of December 1993. So, are they still calibrated? I don't know. I have not had mine recalibrated. You can have these recalibrated. There is an outfit out there that does recalibrate them. So, if you're really interested, and getting it recalibrated, go for it. If you're using it for you know scientific means, go ahead and you know, absolutely get it recalibrated. Uh, for our basic needs, I don't think so. I, I I really don't see a need to go ahead and make sure it's right dead on. If it reads into the positive, to me, that's good enough. I just need to know it's you know that any kind of radiation is present. And I didn't buy that for a prepper sense. I, I was using it for other things. And so it just happened to be nice that when I bought the 777 kit, I got all of these two. And since in the military I was trained how to use these, and not like and you can figure it out, it's not hard. Um, it's just nice to go ahead and, and have these, especially now when they're saying, well, you know, the situation's getting worse. And so this way, hey, eh, you know, I'm not going to worry in Wisconsin, it's not going to come all the way down here too easily. But you know, with three reactors kind of melting down, a lot of people are wondering what to do. So remember, if you see something like this on eBay, don't buy it unless it has this with it or unless you already have one. Um, the other thing is there's a whole bunch of them out there from Russia. And these are they're all Cold War issue, just like this. The only problem is, do you want to go ahead and buy one of these from the same, com same country that gave you Chernobyl? They didn't know how to build a nuclear reactor. How do you think they're going to do on detecting it? Um, and the fact is, some of the detectors that they were using failed during Chernobyl. So they didn't actually know how much radiation was leaking out right there at the time. Um, just some of them failed. So do you want the possibility of one failing? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Me, personally, I'll stick with the U.S. made ones. But remember, you have to have the charger in order to go ahead and use something like this. You know, the, the other thing is, there's a lot of other ones out there in the market. They're really expensive. One of them is like Nuke Alert, and it's like a keychain you keep with you. That's more for uh, nuclear burst, if I remember correctly. I don't. I haven't looked into it a lot, but um, a couple years ago I looked at it, and you know, I didn't like it because it just alarm goes off. Well, I wanted to be able to go ahead and detect the mounts, and I just couldn't do with that, so I went ahead and I, I didn't go any further with it. Had it a, a little screen on there that went ahead and had little LEDs or something to detect, rather than just having an alarm go off. Now, I just don't know what the sensitivity level is on that, and if it only detects a nuclear burst, which says nuke alert, or if it's a low-level detector. I don't know. As for you to decide, they also make the badges. The badges are kind of cute and they're kind of hard to find. I have not seen any for sale, uh, so I don't know what the price is. And those are nice because they do change based on different levels. The NASA astronauts, all of the NASA astronauts actually have one of them. So you know, when they're working in the shuttle in space, it, you know, there's a lot of x-rays and gamma radiation and things like that so they wear the, those badges just to make sure so there, there are other ones out there there's a lot newer ones out there. there's a lot of electronic ones out there oops I guess that's not calibrated anymore and 
So, you know, there's, there's a lot of the newer, they got some from uh, Russia that's newer and they're kind of like digital. Uh, how well do they work? I don't know. And I don't know, I don't know if they've ever been calibrated. Don't have a clue. That's up to you to go ahead and do your research. So when you're going to think about buying something like this, make sure that you do the research first so you don't accidentally buy something you can't use. If, because if you see you know, one of these on, on eBay someplace and you decide, well, that's perfect because I, that right there I put in my pocket and it'll automatically detect whether or not I've been exposed to radiation. It's a great idea, but unless you can go ahead and charge it, it's not any good. So there you go. Any comments or questions, feel free to leave it below, or you can even send me a PM or an email. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate. I'm Weapon here, and I'll catch you in the next video. Come on, come on.